It's time to get beefy. Start, wait a minute. And what is this guy doing out here? Stand over there. Why, Alex, why? Why, Alex, why? That's the question that I've been seeing on social media. It's the questions that I've heard from you fans all through this week. Why, Alex, why? My question is simple. Championship, and that is Alex Cologne. Of course, back at Saved by the Bell, Nate Wings did defeat Alex Cologne in the three-way elimination match to win that American Lucha Corps Championship. But Alex Cologne walked out holding the gold. And of course, this man accompanying Alex Cologne ringside, giving Alex Cologne quite the introduction there, is JT Davidson. And now he has some words for Duke Beefhammer as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he throws him right into Alex Cologne, who gives him a big boot. And my God, look at Alex Cologne here. He is wearing a suit and tie. This is not the same Alex Cologne we all remember. 
Malone, though, this man believes he is the American Lucha Core champion right now. Oh my gosh, and he spiked Beef Hammer with that Ace Crusher. Oh my gosh, face first, driven right into the mat. And now Cologne, he's got him in the camel clutch. He's cinching back. This could be it right here for Beef Hammer, and it is. Your winner via submission, Alex Cologne. Well, Cologne made quick work of Duke Beef Hammer here in this matchup, and you can give a big assist to JT Davidson. Uh, now Cologne holding up that American Lucha Corps Championship. That's not even his belt. Oh wait, and here comes the man that rightfully won that belt. That's Nate Wings. He wants his championship. He's pulling away at it. Cologne trying to pull it back. And Wings now has it. Oh, but there's Davidson with the clothesline. Oh, come on now. And the numbers game catches up to Nate Wings. Cologne has the camel clutch on wings as Davidson holds the American Lucha Corps Championship right in front of his face. Oh, come on, enough is enough. And now who is this? Oh. Well, Pompano Joe, wait a minute, he's scheduled to face Nate Wings later tonight, but he's coming out right now. Don't tell me. The following match is scheduled for one fall. Already in the oh, come on. Rings and his opponent, Pompano Joe. Oh, come on. There's a cover. Owen Wings kicks out. Well, Pompano Joe trying to pull a fast one here. And we've seen Pompano Joe try to get quick victories before, but this would have been the Cream of the top right here. As now Pompano Joe sits right on top of Nate Wings, putting all of his weight on top of him. But I still can't believe what we just witnessed earlier with Alex Colon and his new manager, JT Davidson. Colon wearing a suit and tie and, and wearing the American Lucha Corps Championship around his waist. And again, here tonight on Amped, he makes a statement. Well, now Nate Wings, the true American Lucha Corps champion, fighting back here. But Pompano Joe with one boot gets the upper hand. Well, Pompano Joe, he's always been known as one to take advantage of a situation, and that is exactly what he's doing here tonight. After Alex Colon and JT Davidson attack Nate Wings, Pompano Joe tried to get a quick victory, and right now he has the upper hand due to the situation. Oh, well, Pompano Joe thinks he's real funny there. Joe now has Wings in the center of the ring, now tosses him through the ropes to the outside, and Wings goes crashing into the guardrail. Oh, Pompano Joe is awful proud of himself here right now. And he knows if he can defeat the likes of Nate Wings, the man that, that is the real American Lucha Corps champion, if he can defeat him, he might be in line for a future title shot. Joe with a stiff kick there right into the ribs of Wings, but Wings coming right back. There's a chop to Pompano and again. But with one knee, Pompano Joe gets the advantage. He throws Wings off the ropes. Joe catches him. Oh, and he throws him down. There's that back suplex we've seen time and time again as now Joe rolls him up. There's a cover but not enough to put away the teenage model sensation. Three, 
Well, it's three more than usual for Pompano. As now Pompano Joe with an uppercut, down goes Nate Wings. I'll give Pompano Joe a little bit of credit here. Uh, he looks a little less sloppy than usual. I don't know if it's because he uh, actually shaved today, both his chest and his face. But he looks a little less sloppy than usual. Well, that right there was sloppy as he was pulling back on Nate Wings, an illegal move, but he let go before the count of five. And now another illegal move, choking away on Nate Wings. And again, he lets go of the neck before the count of five. Well, Pompano Joe, he is a veteran of the sport, and he knows that if he grounds the high flyer in Nate Wings, it is to his advantage. And that is exactly what he's doing right here. But Wings finds a way back to his feet. He tries to create separation here, and he does. Rolls through the clothesline attempt, rolls back. Uh-oh, and around the world, Pompano goes. Joe catches him, but wait, Nate Wings rolls through, takes him down with the head scissors. Well done there by Nate Wings, and he's fired up. Here he comes. Wait, he rolls through. And again, the head scissors throws Joe into the guardrail. Oh, and Wings is just getting started. It's time for him to put on his wings. Here he comes. Suicide dive. Oh, but Joe catches him. And Wings reverses again into the head scissors. Wow. Nate Wings can pull off high flying moves out of nowhere, just like we're seeing in this matchup here tonight. Standing moonsault and Wings goes for the cover. And Pompano kicks out. Wings now feeling the momentum on his side, continues the attack. Low crossbody, he goes through the ropes. Springboard moonsault. Oh, and he rolls him up. But Joe kicks out. And now Joe looks like he's going for a tiger driver here, but Wings kicks him down. Oh, and he drops right on top of Pompano. He rolls through, there's a lion salt. Hooks the leg, two, and Joe stays alive. Nate Wings is so dangerous when he hits those series of moves in a row. Now he looks to put the finishing touches on Pompano. He scales to the top rope here, but Joe gets to his feet. Pompano now, he climbs the ropes. But Wings meets him with a headbutt. Cross body, wait a minute, rolls through, but Joe catches him. Oh, and he tosses him right into the turnbuckle. And here comes Pompano, back sent on in the corner, but Wings moves out of the way. Wings saw that one coming, and it may have cost Pompano. To the top, Wings goes. Split leg at 450. Good night, Pompano. Three, that's all. Your winner, and still the American Luchador champion, the teenage model sensation, Nate Wings. Well, Nate Wings wins the matchup here on Amped, and he retains his American Lucha Corps Championship, even though that championship isn't physically around his waist right now, this man still is the champion.
It's time to step into the danger zone. Well, here we go. The longest introduction in professional wrestling. Wrestling fans, we gotta take a break. We'll be back in just a minute. Thank you, JL. Hi, I'm Alan Thrush, and I'm here at the Thrush & Son Home Improvement Center with my son, Corey, and my great niece, Ava. Since 1960, we've understood who the boss is, and that's you, our customers. I'm the boss. No, Ava, when we install a new roof, siding, windows, gutter, or whatever home improvements our customers need, they are the boss. Come visit us on the web at thrushandson.com, and for a free in-home consultation, give us a call today at 833-5136, where we know who the boss is. Me? with his former best friend, Bruce Gray. And John Murray, you can see, the man had so much hatred within that there was a double count out of that match. He took a count out because he wanted to beat down Bruce Gray rather than get the victory. All right, now. Just because I like sitting with you so much, I think I'm gonna sit here and call this match with you. Kyle Maverick jumping out of the ring, the man that has the longest introduction of anybody ever. Yeah, I think I've made a sandwich, I've read a book, I've even taken a nap during one of his introductions before. Well, I know I just went and took a dump and uh, still made it back in time myself. You know, Gorgeous George used to take forever a day to get in there and get in that ring and do all of his things too, but this guy is just like 10 times longer. But it looks like right now John Murray's just kicking the hell out of him, which I'm kind of happy about. Oh, but Maverick right there gets a drop kick on the big man, rocking him into the ropes. But Murray comes right back with a shoulder block. Did you see that match between Murray and uh, Bruce Gray this past Friday night? That was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the hatred that those two have for one another is just off the charts right now. And unfortunately, that's one of them that's not going to be on the iPay-Per-View, but it is a DVD exclusive, so you definitely want to order that through Rockstar, what is it, rockstarprowrestling.com? Yeah, that you can't order. Or you come right here to the Rockstar Pro Arena next Wednesday. And now Maverick goes up and over, lands on his feet. He goes off the ropes, goes under a clothesline, under a back elbow, but Murray is there to take him down with a cross body. A Buick Century just landed on a mouse. Man, that is a big body coming through right there. And Where now does Maverick, Maverick think he's going. Well, Maverick out to the ring apron. I don't know if that's a good strategy here as Murray goes right after him. Oh, but Maverick takes him right down on the top rope. Murray is a veteran. He should know better than try to do something like that. Well, now Maverick has got him lined up. Oh, twisting neck breaker takes him down right on the middle rope. And that middle rope is steel cable. I mean, yeah, it's got some tape around it, but that tape does not protect you much at all. Yeah, none whatsoever as now Maverick scales to the top, hits him with the clothesline on the way down. Maverick with the cover, and Murray kicks out. Come on, John Murray, this is ridiculous. You need to get it together, buddy. Well, Kyle Maverick, he's got the advantage right now. And last week on Amped, Kyle Maverick went one-on-one -on -one with Aaron Williams. And even though he came up on the losing end, he made quite a good showing for himself in that matchup. You call that a good showing? Well, I mean, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the longest reigning Rockstar Pro Champion in history. I, I think Aaron myself was just toying with him the entire time. Well, Maverick went for a cover right there, but Murray kicked out. As now Maverick. Ooh, going for those kicks right on the chest of the big man. But do you think those kicks really hurt John Murray all that much? I mean, I used to be a really big fat guy too, and I knew kicks and chops and stuff didn't hurt a whole lot. With him kicking Murray, it, it surely can't hurt all that much. And he does have a lot of padding there. See, that's for sure. I'm telling you, he's back up already. It's Super Murray. Murray, oh! oh ho, ho. Takes him down with a black hole slam there. That's just a big man driving Maverick down right there. Oh, and now he's set up. You know what time it is, JL. Car crusher oh. that he missed. Well, Maverick had him scouted there, just barely evaded. Does Maverick watch tapes? That's a good question. I don't know if he had him scouted. I but know he can't spell or count or anything, but I just wondered if he could actually work a v DVD player or VCR or something like that. Wow, a splash right on the back of Murray. That's There's a cover. 
And Murray stays alive. Two count only. You're not putting Murray away with something like that, you twig. Well, he went for a unique splash there that some call shadows over hell. But not enough to put away John Murray there. Shadows over hell. And now Maverick lining up those kicks once again. The only shadow in hell is when we have to listen to him talk before every one of his damn matches. No argument for me. Oh, he catches him. Oh, and he drops him down. That? He didn't get all of that one. Maverick immediately going for a triangle choke here. I, I think it had to do with Murray. Murray was probably really sweaty, or Maverick's really sweaty, and Murray couldn't get his hands around him. Oh, he's got him this time. Baldo oh, yeah. bomb. Down he goes, and that's all. That's it, baby. Your winner, the pinfall, John Murray. Well, John Murray gets the victory, but you know he has his eyes set on bombastic Bruce Gray. Well, yeah, even with bombastic Bruce Gray. Speaking of hey, wait, wait a minute, here he is. Oh, and from behind, he attacks John Murray once again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, I thought this was resolved already. Oh, and now Bruce Gray taking his boot off. Oh, but Murray miss misses. Bruce. He's got him. Murray, oh, he's got the Baldo bomb. I thought that was the buffet bomb. Buffet bomb, Baldo bomb, all the same thing, right? Oh, absolutely it is. One of them's at a Chinese restaurant, the other one's not. <laughs> yeah, good call right there, but John Murray looks like he's not done yet, JL. What's he got in mind now? Well, wait a minute, he, he's, he's going under. He's got that the... crazy look in his eye. Oh, like he's he got a table. A taco truck. <laughs> he's got a table. You can put all sorts of food on that, JL. Mm, I'm kind of hungry right now, too. No, but I, I don't think that's what he's planning on doing here. Hey, if Murray pulls out a table, I'm going to go make something to eat. Even if it does have to deal with Bruce Gray. Well, Murray now setting up the table. He's now, he, he wasn't allowed to play with, with furniture on Friday, which what's the difference between now and then? Uh, I don't know. I think right now John Murray, he's throwing the rule book out the window. He just wants to inflict damage on Bruce Gray. Uh, I think it's just gotten to the point where where Murray has taken all he can from his former best friend, and it's it's time to take out the garbage. Oh, wait a minute, Murray. Oh, oh, oh God, come on now. He's going for a suplex here. He's got him up. But Gray, though, fighting out of it, fighting for his life here. Under the legs of Murray. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, power bomb through the table. My God. Wow. Oh my God. And this and happening on a Wednesday night. This isn't an eye pay per view. We normally don't break tables on a Wednesday night. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, Murray might be out here. We, we need help from the back if anybody's listening. Oh, and now, now Bruce Gray's going to talk. John, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. My name is Bruce Gray, and I've done some bad things. And from the bottom of my heart, John Murray, people of the Rockstar Nation, my daughter watching at home, the boys in the back, I'm sorry. You're a liar, Bruce. You're damn right I'm a liar, because I am sorry that I've wasted a year and some odd months on your fat ass. Oh, come on now. Feels good to talk with the microphone, John. I'm also sorry I brought my oldest friend in the wrestling business, Jeremy Madrox, into Rockstar, and he got anchored with you. He found you, he found you. I'm so sorry that it's taken me this long to finally put old number one to put Brucey Jack ahead of you, ahead of you, ahead of you, because I don't care what it takes to climb the ladder, John. I will do whatever it takes. I have wasted too long away from my family, and now it's time for Brucey Jack to take over Rockstar. I am not a bad person, but I'm going to do some terrible things to you, John. You stood in the way of progress, and now I'm going to hurt you. 
Hit my music. This guy has completely lost his freaking mind. Wow, just some sick words there from a sick man and bombastic Bruce Gray. Who dropped him on his head? I don't know what's going on, but this clearly isn't the same man we've all grow known to grow in love here in Rockstar Pro. That's it, fans. We're taking a break. We'll be back in just a minute. Zack Spades, sick and twisted, you're watching Ant. Well, since uh, Mark Turner won't do his job, I'll welcome all the fans back. Welcome back to Amp, ladies and gentlemen. You got Zack Spades coming out to the ring right now. Uh, who's he fighting, Mark? Oh, he's going one-on-one -on -one with Dave Chris. This is a good one right here. Oh, hell. You might want to stick around, fans. This is going to be a flobber knocker. Well, you know, Zach Spades wants to pick up a big victory here to get back into the winning ways and get back into that Rockstar Pro Championship situation. Going up against Dave Chris, man, he has got his work cut out for him tonight. You know, it, it's kind of disturbing. I mean, Zach Spades comes out to the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street theme music along with Nightmare, and then Dave Chris comes out with Friday 13. Uh, is this a Jason versus Freddy match right here? I'm pumped if that's the case. <laughs> Look, he even wears a mask, too, so it's got to be Jason Voorhees. Oh, no, it's just Dave Chris. Oh, well, I'm depressed again. Well, we have a killer going one on one with Sick and Twisted right now. My question is who's more psychotic in this match, Dave Chris or Zach Spade? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I guess we'll find out here tonight. Who's more psychotic? Who's a little crazier? Who's a lot sicker? My money's on spades, but then again, I have known Dave for a very long time. Alex Colon's out here? Oh, that's the best of the best. Never mind. Now these two shake sportsmanship. hands right in the center of the ring. Very good sportsmanship right there. Here's something you don't see very often. Um, these are two of the uh, top fan favorites here in Rockstar Pro. The fans might have a tough time choosing who to root for in this one. I'm going to root for Brian. That's an unsuspected pick right there. I'm going to root for him to get his ass knocked out. Hey, what's that called? I don't know. He's just twisting away on the leg right now. It's a leg grapevine. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Or at least I think it is. And Look, I've been hitting the head one too many times in steel chairs. I don't know what these moves are called anymore. Very nicely done by Dave Christ. Yeah, Dave Christ, a mat technician here in Rockstar Pro. That's the one thing he doesn't get a lot of credit for. He gets a lot of credit for a lot of high-flying maneuvers and, and just flippy stuff all the time, but he can mat wrestle with the best of them. I completely agree with that sentiment right there. I mean, there's a reason why this man is a trainer here at Rockstar Pro. Everybody says that Jake is the, the more technical of the two. I don't know about that. Well, they are both very excellent, very well-rounded wrestlers indeed. You can hear the cries from the crowd and support of Ohio is for killers. 
Oh, and now they're backing Zack Spades. I told you, this is going to be one of those crazy matches. And you even said the Rockstar fans are going to have a tough time going back and forth on this. Oh, and Zack Spades calling for a kick from Dave Christ. You he, don't want to do that. Yeah, he might be regretting it now, but again. I, I've oh. seen Dave break like cinder blocks and stuff. I, you don't want to do that. Wow. And now Dave Chris going right after that leg of Zack Spades. Ties him up with that leg and now wrenching back on the neck of Sick and Twisted. And he is all twisted right now. Oh, I see what you did there. Nice. Spades trying to find an escape here. You're going to come up with like something with uh, Spade's last name and a shovel reference before too long? Is, is that what we're doing? I think I have done it before, to be honest. <laughs> and now, Dave Christ. Big oh. chop right across the chest. <laughs> that was one of them thudders, too. Them bad boys hurt a lot more than it. <laughs> Man, you can hear that shaking off the walls here in the Rockstar Pro Arena. I can feel that all the way back here, Turner. That's just ridiculous. Oh! The fans call weak. They have no clue. I mean, yeah, it's like you said earlier. I mean, those ones that don't make the loud chopping sound, those hurt even more. Zach, give it to him, baby. Spades now. I oh. think Dave liked it. Oh, my oh. God! Dave Chris just slaps Spades and Spades and Chris going nose to nose. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Uh, what the? This is completely broken down. Yeah, words don't do justice to what's going on here. I'm just going to sit here and shut my mouth because I'm kind of liking this. Oh, jeez. Huge clothesline from Chris and Spades is down. Uh, could the guy in the second row throw Zach Spades' head back in the ring, please? Man. As a great announcer once said, business just picked up, right, JL? A little bit. You know, the, you know, I know who's winning this match. The fans. The fans are winning this match. Amen. Spades now going for the trio. He didn't get that one. Oh, 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 Wait a oh, yes, he did. That was a high angle one at that. Yeah, great elevation on that one as now he goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Only a two, though. And now Spades getting fired up here. I'll tell you what, man, both of these individuals taking a lot of abuse and they're still going at it here. But did you notice that, that uh, Zach Spades grabbed his leg here just a couple seconds ago? Yeah, that he did. I think those uh, kicks did something to it earlier on, but he's just going to leave it alone and keep going. I, I love that. This kid's got a lot of heart and a lot of fire and a lot of passion. You can't find that in a whole lot of people anymore. There's a lateral press by Spades, but too close to the ropes. You're not going to get a veteran like Dave Chris that way. No. You're going to have to beat him down within an inch of his life and then pin him in the center of the ring. There's no way you're going to get him close to the ropes. If he can reach him, he's going to go for it. Spades now looks to bring Dave back in the hard way. Going for a suplex. He's got him up, and he's got him down. He goes for the cover. Two, and Dave kicks out. Where's the fans yelling, two at? I don't know. Where's Cabby Joe? He normally does that crap. Oh, he's over there. Well, now Spades, he's got Dave Chris down right in the center of the ring. Chris, though, gets back to his feet trying to escape the hold, which he does. Off the ropes he goes. Both men duck. Oh, and there's a kick from Chris. Is, is that a Pele? I don't know if it's a Pele, but it would have scored a goal, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I won't disagree with you on that one. And now he's setting up Zach Spades. Looks like Dave is going for a high-flying move here. What she does better, better than most. Oh, 450 splash oh, he attempt. Oh, missed at that one. Wow. That would have been it for Zach Spades, but Spades moved out of the way. Now Spades with the cover, and Chris kicks out. Once again, you're not going to pin Dave Chris that easily. You're going to have to pretty much kill him before you get him shoulders pinned down on him. Oh, there's a knee, and it caught him right on the chin there. 
Those deadly knockout knees from Dave Chris just did damage on Zach Spades. Oi! Oi! Oh! Man, a series of kicks there in the corner by Dave Christ. And it's got Spades reeling right now. He's got him up on the shoulders. Spades, though, he's fighting back. But Christ drives the Good double enough. knees. One, Could this be it? Two. Oh. Two count only as Spades kicks out. He rolls right into a single leg crab and hooks the other leg also. Well, luckily for Spades, he kicked out near those ropes because that might have been it for him right there. Uh, sir, I don't think that was a kick out. He just grabbed the ropes. These fans are absolutely loving. I hope you fans watching at home are, are enjoying this as much as we are here in the arena. If you ever get a chance, come on down to 1106 East 3rd Street in Dayton, Ohio on a Wednesday night and check out what's going on. The most, I, I can't even explain it. You know, a lot of fans were calling it the new version of the old ECW after this past uh, Friday's iPay-Per-View. That they are. And for only six bucks each and every Wednesday, it's an incredible deal. Yeah, you ain't going to see action in the state of Ohio anywhere else like this, Wait, especially Spades. not on a weekly basis. Spades taking down Chris right there off the ring apron. I don't even know if you can see this kind of action every four to six months. I like what you did there. We're not going to mention uh, unstripped champions. Though. Now Spades going right after the back of Dave Christ as Dave drives Spades into the ring apron. Well, Dave's going after the back. Oh, oh, damn, there's a broken hand. It's got to be. Oh, that's got to be a turning point right there in this matchup. Dave Christ struck that ring post with his hand, but look at Dave continue to fight. Here he comes off the ropes. It's a what? It's a what? Hey, what? Moon over my hammy is Thank what he calls you. it. And this crowd is fired up. I thought you were going to call it some kind of taco, tin queso, or something like that. But okay, if you want to call it Moon over Miami, I'm good with that. That's English. Oh my gosh! 55-yard field goal through the uprights on that one. 55? I was going 60-65. Damn! That's a new record. That, that was almost as good as Ray Rice with his uh, fiance. Dave now tosses spades back into the ring. I think Ray Rice hit softer than that. Oh, bicycle kick by spades. Dave ducks the clothesline and hits him with the kick of his own. There's a lateral press. And Spades kicks out. And man, this matchup continues. Moon over Miami, 65-year-old field, year old. Yard field goal, couple of smacks, double thrust, bicycle kick again, and Dave Christ is down. Oh, could this be it here? Two. And Chris again kicks out. You're not taking Dave Chris down with something like that. Zach is going to have to hit him with that spear, and he needs to do it soon to make sure Dave Chris stays down, broken hand and all. I'll tell you what, what a sensational matchup we've seen so far as Dave trips the leg of Spades, and now Chris scales the ropes. Oh, he went for a double moonsault there. I don't know if he hit all of it, but he hit enough of it but not enough for the victory. Shades of Kota Ibushi right there on that. Excuse you? Kota Ibushi. And now, Dave with a kick right to the chest. And again, standing moonsault. Could this be it? Two, and Spades again kicks out. This kid's got heart, man. Wow. This crowd noise in here is deafening. I, I can hardly hear you talk. Rockstar Nation eating up this matchup as they should. What a sensational matchup. Chris lands on his feet. Spades catches him. Oh, belly to belly Ooh. suplex. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this could be it, JL. He's lining up for it. Spear. There's the is cover. Two. No. And Chris kicks out. He didn't get all that spear like he normally does. Wow! 
Rockstar Nation saying it all. Spades now picking up Christ. What, what else does Spades have left in his arsenal? I don't know. Maybe he's got a lot of things that we haven't seen yet here in Rockstar Pro Wrestling. And now he has Dave Christ on the top rope here. Spades follows him up. Dave now fighting out of it. Uh oh, wait oh, a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. sit down powerbomb from the top. That's got to be it, man. Hooks One, the leg. Two. two. Holy crap. Two count only. There is no way Zach Spade just kicked out of that. That is insane. Well, he is sick and twisted. As now, Dave Chris to the top and Spades cuts him off this time. You want to go to the well a second time after you just got power bombed off the top rope? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, this guy must be crazy. There's something not right about this boy. It's Chris now, headbutt, drive Spades down. Double knees. Oh, and he oh, hit it. That's it. That's it. He Waiter, hooks the leg. check please. One, two. two. That's it. Good night. Told ya. Your winner via pinfall. Hey, Cousin Marky, guess what? I think I might come back up here with you here in a few minutes. Is that all right with you? Hey, that's all that's right That's great. Okay, I'm done listening to you. Fans, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Alan Thrush, and I'm here at the Thrush & Son Home Improvement Center with my son, Corey, and my great niece, Ava. Since 1960, we've understood who the boss is, and that's you, our customers. I'm the boss. No, Ava, when we install a new roof, siding, windows, gutter, or whatever home improvements our customers need, they are the boss. Come visit us on the web at thrushandson.com, and for a free in-home consultation, give us a call today at 833-5136, where we know who the boss is. Me? Wait a minute, now here comes the fight. Oh, right after this sensational matchup, the fight now coming out with the steel chair. Hey, that was a hell of a commercial break too. Oh, come on now. Wait, what is Taylor? Taylor attacking his own teammates. The fuck? Uh, I'm at a loss for words. Did I just miss something here? Well, they didn't save him last Friday. I mean, Taylor was the first one to be eliminated. Yeah, that um, he was. Well, I don't know. I, this just raises more questions, and Dave Christ himself looks as confused as we are. Dave always looks that way. All right, fans, we're here. We're going to take a break again, I think. Maybe, I hope. Killers, I'm Jake Christ, and you're watching Rockstar Pro Wrestling on Ant. Why in God's name does he come out to this? Rex and Effects Daddy O. I love this song. Why am I not surprised? You were also the one that loved hearing the Smart Bombs Deluxe, you tool. God, if he gets hey. in that ring and shakes his hind end, I want to puke. Well, Mason Price here, the rump shaker himself in the ring. Uh, uh, uh. I don't get it. I'm 
I'm sorry, I must be an older guy. Wait a minute, I am old. Well, the ladies here in attendance seem to enjoy that. Nobody applauded for that goofball. Did he just yell? Uh -oh. well, honestly, there aren't too many ladies in attendance here. <laughs> There's a few, though. I count at least 20. Hey, it looks like Great American Beast got a, a new sweater. Oh, wait a minute, that's his hair. Never mind. Well, Beast and Price, they've faced off time and time again, including that I Quit match back at We Are Rockstar, and they face off as part of a fatal four-way match here tonight. That could be very interesting. Oh. I think Beast is a dead man. Aaron Williams and Matt, or uh, what's his name? Mason. Mason Price. That's what it is. You put those two together against Beast, who is a total brick. Yeah, Beast is dead. Mason can take the night off, too. He can just sit in the corner and let Planet Williams whip his head off. My money's on Aaron Williams. And Aaron Williams, he is the longest reigning Rockstar Pro Champion in history. Look, I'll be smart. 239 days there before it is. Alex Cologne beat him. Wow, look at you, JL. Do although, your although there is that asterisk. Because that Zach true. Spades beat him at one point, but it was not a, regu a regulated match. Uh-oh, here comes competitor number four, JL. Holy crap. Mason Bryce, Jake Chris, and Aaron Williams against the Great American Beast. This is going to be the greatest whipping ever. Let's not forget either, Jake Crist on the bottom rung as far as the bosses go, but he took DJ's head, or DJ Hyde's head off on Friday night. You've got to order the iPay-Per-View, people. Yeah, absolutely. You can go to DIYWrestling.com right now to order that iPay-Per-View. But you're absolutely right. Jake Crist made a statement to DJ Hyde. Jake Crist. He wants a Rockstar Pro Championship match. Yeah, but I don't see that happening anytime soon because C.W. Scott is not going to allow it to happen. Yeah, well, you knew this was going to break down instantly with those two. Yep, as Jake Chris and Aaron Williams try to break them up, and now they go after them. Oh, this meeting of the minds right there, and now Price and Beast go right back at one another. Oh, and you can see the hatred of these two right here. No love lost at all. Well, I mean, this is the one guy that, that put duct tape around another guy that was on a table and then dove through it, for God's sake. Yeah, even after Beast quit the match, Price still jumped off a ladder right through that table. Oh, whoa, whoa, Price trying to get the big man up. Oh, takes him down. I think he was going for a power bomb there, but he couldn't muscle him up the rest of the way, so he just decided with the flat jacket. And, uh, it worked out. Bet all that fur was probably getting in his face, made it hard for him. When Beast walks outside, does he go I mean, he could be cast as Lobaka in the next Star Wars movie. Not Chewbacca, Lobaka. The way Beast catches Price here. Sit down, power bomb. Oh, and now Beast and Price feeling the effects roll outside the ring to the floor. And here come Aaron Williams and Jake Crist. And I'll tell you what, JL, this is two of the best that Rockstar Pro has to offer right here. Former champion, and you got Jake Chris in there, who is the one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time, a member of the OI4K, a founding member at that. And Aaron Williams, the baddest man alive, who looks like he has tape or something like that. Oh, look, these two at a stalemate, they know each other so well. Well, they fought each other while they were the Mavericks and the, the, the Irish Airborne back in the old... Oh, I can't say that. In that company that runs four to six times a year that we've completely destroyed, 
but they used to they, they fought each other as Darren Williams and uh, Alan Wasilishin as the Mavericks against Jake and Dave being the Irish Airborne at the time, and I mean, these guys do know each other. They have tour houses down all across the United States. And not to mention, they even fought for the Rockstar Pro Championship back in March at Havoc in the Heartland here for Rockstar Pro. Once again, you know, too many chair shots to the head, forgot all about that. That was a great, great match, but they weren't they also in the uh, blacktop battle? Yeah, they were two of the four members in the four-way ladder match for the championship. So there you go. And now, Jake Christ on top of Aaron Williams as Price and Beast continue to fight outside the ring. Beast gets thrown face first into the guardrail. Meanwhile, in the ring, Aaron Williams trying to escape from the hold, but Jake throws him back into the corner. Jake now throws Aaron. Aaron, though, through the legs. A little bit of European style here. Oh, but that's not really? European at all. Ouch, that's more like Orient. Wow, hooks a leg and Only Jake one count? kicks out at one. You, you said that Beast and him were going at it at ringside. I can't see anything. I can see some of it out there. Oh, there they are. I had to switch the camera shot. Oh, and now Jake throws the neck of Aaron Williams into the middle rope. Oh, and he could be setting up for it here. There's a boot right to the face. Chris now, copy of the NWO DVD. He hooks a leg, two. Jake, but Williams kicks out. Jake Chris, so precise in his, in his shots. I mean, he will pick you apart in a heartbeat. And now Williams fighting out of it, but here comes Beast. Tosses him into the ropes, takes Jake to the outside. Oh, up and over an assisted ace crusher there. Beast with the cover. And Williams kicks out. That would have been a huge victory for Great American Beast. And for our Spanish-speaking friends, that would be Count of Dos. I thought you were gonna say Great American Beast in Spanish. I don't know how to say that one. Uh, Great American Beast, I guess. L Great American Beast? No, that would be the. Hey, look, Jake Chris is in there along with Great American Beast right now. Great American Beast stomping up to beat Jesus out of him. I don't yeah. know if that's smart. I don't think you really want to piss off a killer. Uh, I think he's trying to stomp away on the man before he can get to his feet and mount some offense. Yeah, but Jake Chris can kill you on the mat or standing on his feet. It doesn't matter. Oh, there's a shot for Mason Price as he goes flying into the guardrail. Superman cape. After that one. Hooks the leg, but only two. My God. I, I think a little bit had to do with Aaron Williams grabbing on the Jake's foot. Jake Chris, there's a super kick. Spinning two. kick. Oh. Williams lands on his feet. Oh! He's got him up. He's got him hooked. Drops him on the back of his head. Williams now not done yet. Ace Crusher! Wow, what a matchup! I, I can't even keep up. My jaws just has dropped. This is nuts. Moonsault off the middle rope. There's a cover. Two. 
but only two as Jake kicks out. Aaron Williams looking to get back into his winning ways after some craziness going on here recently. I mean, this man that was thrown into our equipment in our power outlet over on Friday and knocked our power out for a good three and a half minutes. Just a sensational matchup he had with Dustin Rays this past Friday at Saved by the Bell. That match is probably one of the craziest matches I've ever seen in my entire life. And now, Williams, he's setting up Jake here, going for the Tower of London, it appears. Jake, though, fighting out of it. Oh. And there's a shot from Williams. Now Williams follows Jake up top. Jake fighting out of it, though. Oh, we've no, seen, don't tell we've me. seen this before. Oh, no. Could it be happening again? Look out below. Oh, flipping. Pile That's driver. It. He's done. Get the bell ready. Call Jake the water. hooks the leg. Three, that's, that's it. all. There is no way that you're getting up after being dropped on your head from over four and a half to five foot in the air. What a sensational move there. The flipping pile driver from Jay Christ puts an exclamation point on this incredible matchup. Wow. Hey, it has been one hell of a night here at Rockstar Pro Arena. I'm glad to be calling a couple matches with you. I had fun. Yeah, I had fun as well. Thanks for calling the action with me, JL. And thanks to everybody at home. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week.